Now let me switch to uh, to the project. I will talk about the problem that uh, that we'll be working on. Um, I will not talk about the details of of the of what you will do, but I will introduce the problem to you so that you will be familiar with it, uh, and uh, you can start to read about it, uh, inshallah, in the break. Um, the the main idea here is that I will give you a research paper that is very recently published. Actually, it was published I think two months ago. Um, in in the top conference in, in the natural language processing field. Um, what you will need to do is to implement what they did, given some uh, starter code that I will share with you so that you don't spend time on things that we actually didn't study. Uh, I mean that is specific to the problem, just to focus on uh, deep learning part. Um, but I thought that I need to introduce the problem to you first so that you can, you will be familiar with it. Okay, so when you read the paper, you, you, it will be much easier for you to understand uh, than reading it from scratch. Okay. You, I think you are familiar with exams like ACT, TOEFL, IELTS, uh, GRE, and, and so on, right? In such exams, you are asked to uh, write an essay as part of the exam given what we call a writing prompt, okay? A writing prompt tells you the topic, right? So you want to write a topic about blah, blah, blah. And then you write the, the essay, right? You submit it. And then what happens after you submit the essay? You will get a grade, right? You will get a grade out of this, okay? So this process, I believe part of it, at least, will be done automatically, okay? This is called automated essay scoring. And I think the title is clear, right? We are automatically scoring the essays. AES, automated essay scoring. So um, we can give one score for the essays, for the essay. We call this holistic score. So one overall score, right? So in this case, the system takes one essay with a prompt, of course, and it provides a score for that essay. Now, what type of a problem is that? Remember, in the very first couple of lectures, we, talk, we talked about different types of learning problems. What type is that? Is that regression? Is that classification? Multi-class classification? Binary classification? What, what is that? The output is continuous or discrete? It's, it looks like this, uh, continuous, right? It's a score, it's a number. Okay. Um, although usually here, it's actually discrete. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 10. <clears throat> but we can consider that continuous. It's, it's a number anyway. So we can consider this as a regression model, regression problem. Okay, And that's, that's traditionally uh, happening for this problem. Or we can think of it also as classification problem. You want to classify the uh, the say to how many classes here? Ten, Mr. From one to ten, or actually eleven, but zero to ten. <laughs> okay, from zero to ten. So you can either do it that way or that way. For simplicity, let's assume that it is regression because it's. I think it's it's more plausible this way. Type because we give just one score here. We call this holistic scoring. Holistic scoring, okay? Type. This is not very beneficial to the student. I mean, we didn't say you will get a score like three or six. But why did I get this score? Okay? It doesn't tell much. It doesn't give uh, much feedback to the student. So there is another way of scoring. Uh, this is, by the way, this is an example of the prompt. Okay? Write about patience. Being patient means that you are understanding and blah, blah, blah. Okay? And uh, do only one of the following, write a story about the time, and so on. Okay, so you take this and write the essay. Now, instead of giving just one score, um, in essay scoring, sometimes also they give multiple scores. Uh, maybe one score for organization, one score for grammar, one score for sentence fluency, one score for coherence, one score for relevance 
of the say to the uh, to the to the prompt okay multiple scores in that case you can you can see where your weakness is okay if if it, it will give you a score for each of these traits we call these traits okay how the 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 uh, the essay is structured uh, the grammar if you have any grammar mistakes or misspellings and so on so we call this trait scoring trait scoring okay time now how is that related to us how is that related to related to machine or deep learning how can we convert this into a learning problem we have to have a training set, right? We have to have a training set. So one way of doing that is to assume that we have, for a specific prompt, we have lab we have labeled data for it, which means we have essays that are graded. And we have graded, some of the, of the essays are graded already manually so that we can learn from it, right? And then, after we train the model, we test it on unseen essays, but for the same prompt. Okay, you understand this prompt? What do you mean by prompt? It's the test, the writing task that we that uh, the topic. Okay, you can think of it as the topic. The instructions to write. Okay. So this is one way of, of thinking about it. We have a prompt. We have to uh, uh, to get some of the essays are labeled for that prompt. And then we can train a model and use it to grade the rest of the essays. Okay, this is called prompt-specific AES because we are now building a model for specific prompt type. What if we have a different prompt? We have to train a new model, right? We have to get to to grade some of the uh, essays for that prompt, and then um and then uh, um uh, train the the model and and test it okay any questions so far so this is called prompt specific aes type is that realistic yani every time we get a new prompt we will have to train a new model is that practical yani think about it in 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 the position of those who are uh, uh, in in that uh, institution that actually provide the exam okay every time if i want to build some uh, a system to do that every time i have a new prompt every time i have a new topic i will have to grade manually some of the essays for that topic and then build a new model okay if i have a new uh, new prompt another prompt i will have to build another model is that practical? Of course not, right? So manually grading many essays for each new writing task, that's not that's not practical. Okay, that's not practical. Type. Another way of doing it is to use already graded essays for previous prompts. So over time, there are many prompts with graded essays already manually. Why don't we use them so that we have a model that is general enough? To be uh, used for unseen prompts. In that case, I don't need to train a model every time I have a new prompt. Okay, so the training data in this case will come from multiple prompts with graded essays for each. That will be training. Now, the testing will happen on unseen prompts, a new prompt that I didn't see at all in training. Now I can, because I have a model that is trained on multiple of them, I can now uh, test it on unseen prompt with, of course, unseen essays. So in this case, I don't need to grade manually, grade uh, essays for any new prompt. Is that clear? So this is called cross-prompt AES. Cross-prompt because <clears throat> the prompts that I see in training are different than the ones that I see in test. Okay, and that's what you will, inshallah, will be working on. Okay, so this is a, a quick, very quick summary of the of the problem of the uh, of the real problem. Okay, um, I will, inshallah, share with you the paper, and I think now when you read the paper, it will be much easier for you. 
to understand the, what what the paper means. I will uh, uh, tell you exactly what what uh, parts of the paper that you really need to to focus on, and I will share with you over time. I don't have the full instructions yet, but I can give you the paper. I can uh, give you draft uh, um, details of the project, and I will improve them over time. Okay, but I I wanted to give you an idea before the break so that you can maybe um, uh, spend some time uh, on understanding at least the problem. Okay, and I will also, inshallah, share with you some resources for learning PyTorch because PyTorch is the one is the framework that we will be using. Okay, so I will share with that with you uh, that very soon so that maybe you can spend some time in the break. Um, so inshallah, I will share with you the paper. I will share with you the resources for PyTorch, and I will start to draft uh, the the project uh, details. Um, but that probably might be uh, during the break, inshallah.